So to do that, let's create once again another package. Call it um, transformer. Let's create another interface to create that contract uh, transformer. And let's say that we are going to have two generic uh, parameters of type A and type B. And let's create a method here which is transform. And let's say that we are going to have a source of the type A and we want to return a B object, right? So let's create a transformer for, for instance, or add person request transformer. Let's implement the transformer interface and let's say that we want to transform from the add person request to a person object. So let's implement that method and we will need to put here the logic behind to make that possible. So let's return a new person object. Uh, for the name we will use the source dot name and for the last name let's use source uh, last name. Uh, this is just a simple example. So in order to tell to the framework hey I want this uh, transformer in our container I will need to use another annotation which is a uh, component. This is the same. The framework will scan everything, will find this component uh, annotation and will know that the framework will need to create an instance of this transformer. So let's go back to <clears throat> our service and let's add that transformer right over here. So let's put create um, add request add person request transformer, right? So this is one way to create a transformer but in Kotlin there is another thing that you can do to create a transformer <coughs> it's called extensions. So let's create one to see what what is what is that Let's create, for instance, um, the person response uh, transformer extension, right? Basically, an extension is just a function. Let's create something like, but the main difference is that you need to expand from one class. In this case, it will be person. So let me write this to person response, right? So basically, what we are doing here is we are creating this to person response method inside of this person uh, class. And probably you are wondering, okay, but why why don't put that right over here is possible but let's say that you can do that because you don't have the source code of the person maybe because it's in a library so for Kotlin that is okay for instance you can do something like I know that a response entity is an object from the spring uh, framework and I can create um, a new extension right over here uh, without any problem. So let's uh, stick to this kind of extension thing. Uh, let's look how how it works. So I want to return um, a person response. Okay. So if I want to be able to reference to our person, I have to use the this keyword here. So basically what I'm going to do is return a person response with ID 
equals to this dot id but this could be null remember because we put here the question mark so we will need to use the safe operator which is use the uh, the question mark in front but once again this, this could be null so I could use here the Elvis operator this will tell okay if everything that I put here in the left is null or one is null let's use the right value which is in this case uh, a one for the full name I want to use you can use inside of a, a string uh, the all the expressions that you want using the dollar uh, so let's put something like the last name this uh, last name remember the question here uh, comma and then the name right so we have our extension here let's go back to our uh, service and uh, let's see how to use everything right 